Abigail, I can't believe you! How could you keep such big news from me? You could have told me earlier, I thought we were clouds! I'm sorry, but I'm not sure what you're referring to. What big news? Could you be a little more specific? Oh, come on, you can drop the act already! <laughs> you're dating your CEO, right? I'm doing what now? Where did you get that idea? Why would you think I'm dating your CEO? Yes, and I don't think, I know, so don't try to lie to me. You went to a fancy restaurant with the president just the other day, didn't you? Did you really think that you would get past me? When did you two start having that kind of relationship? I'm so jealous. How did you know we went out for dinner? Oh, forget about that, it's not important. To be honest, I had a feeling about you, Abby. You're already 30 and don't seem to be in a rush to get married or anything. So I figured you must have a boyfriend or something. But I never would have guessed it'd be the CEO. Hold on a minute, Melanie. You really need to slow down. You're getting way ahead of yourself. I'm still really confused. I think you've got the wrong idea. This is a misunderstanding. I'd be happy to explain if you'd just ask me. It's okay, you don't have to lie or cover anything up. I'm pretty sure I already know what's going on. I'm not mad or jealous or anything. Don't worry about it breaking company guidelines. It's not like I'm gonna tell anyone. If these rumors are true and you are dating the president, I totally get it. <laughs> I wish you nothing but the best. But I've gotta say, you've been hiding it pretty well until now. <laughs> Listen, Melanie, I'm not dating the president, okay? I told you, it's fine. Don't be shy about it. My personal life doesn't have anything to do with you anyway. Can you just stop spreading weird rumors and focus on your work? Abigail, I can't believe you're still denying it. It's so obvious that you're dating the CEO. Come on, Abby, you can trust me. I won't tell anyone, I promise. Melanie, please stop. I'm not dating the CEO, I told you. I don't know where you're getting these ideas from, but they're not true. Oh, come on. You can't fool me, Abby. You two went to that fancy restaurant downtown last week, remember? And you came back with a smile on your face and a bouquet of flowers on your desk. It's so obvious that you two are dating. Just admit it already. Melanie, I need you to stop this. I'm not dating the CEO, and I don't appreciate you spreading rumors around the office. Besides, that dinner I went to last week wasn't even the one I had with the CEO. That was a business dinner with clients, and the flowers were a thank you gift from them. Yeah, all right, like I'm gonna believe that. You're just trying to cover it up now that I've caught you. It's so obvious that you're lying. Just tell me the truth, Abby. You and the CEO have been dating for a while, right? Just tell me how long it's been going on. No, Melanie, I'm not dating the CEO, and I'm not going to discuss this any further. I need you to focus on your work and stop spreading rumors around the office. Fine, I won't tell anyone. But I'm not giving up on this, Abby. I know what's going on, and I'm going to keep my eyes open for any more signs that you're dating the CEO. Do you know how much work you have piled up right now? You shouldn't be casually texting me like this during work hours. I don't have time for this, and you certainly don't either. Oh, come on. This is important. Don't try to brush it off and talk about work. I'll finish all my tasks, don't worry. I'm not brushing anything off, but we really aren't dating. I think I've made that perfectly clear by now. You're so stubborn. Are you really trying to tell me none of it's true? You're really not dating the president? If that's the case, then if I snatch the president away, you can't complain. What are you talking about now? You're not making any sense. And again, this really isn't appropriate. It's your own fault for not admitting to whatever you have going on with him. And unlike you, I'm still young and cute. I'm sure the president will be a piece of cake for me. I'll have him head over heels for me in no time. Okay, now you've really lost me. What on earth are you talking about? Snatch the president away. Are you okay? You know me. You know I've been looking for a rich husband of my own for ages. 
I told you about how hard I've been trying with the dating apps and all of that. Yes, we're all well aware of how much you're on those apps. I see you on them almost every day, even during work hours. You know what that leads to, right? It leads to your work piling up and people like me having to pick up the slack. And I appreciate that. Thanks for always helping me get all that stuff done. I'm trying my best, you know? It's just that I'm good at multitasking too. <laughs> and besides, life's not all about work, is it? Isn't finding a partner just as important? So if you want me to get more work done, you should be helping me snag a husband ASAP. <laughs> you should really be introducing me to the CEO yourself. I don't really understand what you're trying to say. Your personal life doesn't really have anything to do with work. And you're in no position to meet the CEO. Even you should understand that. Oh, come on! Just introduce us! If you're really not dating the CEO, hand him over, please! Then I won't touch dating apps anymore, I promise. And I'll work super hard every day. I won't let any work pile up, I promise! <laughs> I don't know where to start with this. I'm not dating the president. And all I'm asking you to do is finish your own work. That really shouldn't be too much to ask of you. That's what you were hired to do. You really shouldn't be offering some kind of insane deal to do your own tasks. Yeah, yeah, I got it already. More importantly, are you still planning to hide your relationship with the president like this? I've already heard about your cozy dinner with the president, you know. It's no use pretending anymore. For the last time, just because we had dinner together, it doesn't mean we're dating. How are you still telling lies even now? That's it. If you can't even be honest with me, I'm leaving work early today. I remember I have an appointment I can't move, so I'll be off. See ya. What the heck? You can't just leave in the middle of the day. Please take care of the rest of the work for me. Just pick it up from my desk. See you tomorrow. Hey, Yale. There's something I want to check with you. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's up? I'm home already. Did something happen? Not really. I just want to ask you something. There's absolutely no way you're planning on taking over your sister's company, right? What kind of question is that? Of course not. There's no way I could do something like that. I can see what a tough job it is just by watching my sister. There's no way I could deal with all of that. I'm more suited to be an ordinary employee than a manager. And besides, I like accounting. I don't have any plans to move into management. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to imagine you as president. I know how much you value your own time, and you're really good at accounting. That's where your talents lie. There's no way you just switch career paths like that, huh? Yeah, of course not. What's with the sudden question anyway, Abigail? Do you want me to become the president or something? You're starting to worry me. No, no, that's not what I meant. That's not where I was going with that. I was just checking, that's all. You know I'm not a gold digger or anything. <laughs> I just have this annoying girl on my team at work who keeps insisting that I'm dating the president of our company. <laughs> what the hell? It seems like someone saw the three of us eating together the other day, and I guess the rumor mill somehow turned that into me dating the president. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Maybe it is for you. It's been a real pain for me. Not to mention a huge waste of time trying to get her to drop it and focus on work. How did you respond to her anyway? Of course I denied it, but she wouldn't listen. Anyway, I just wanted to check whether you're really going to become the president. <laughs> just to be completely sure this is all nonsense. Wow, it's hard to imagine how us just having dinner together turned into you dating my sister. Oh, or actually, do you think that girl just thinks I'm the president? Yeah, actually, you're probably right. That's probably what it is. It's still pretty shocking, though. Is that girl okay in the head? I mean, the president is my sister. Doesn't she even know the name and gender of her own company's president? I can't believe she'd get us mixed up like that. She's pretty crazy, so it's definitely possible. Crazy seems like an understatement. <laughs> And there's another problem. After I tried to deny dating the president, she asked me to introduce her to him so she could date the president herself. <laughs> what? 
Are you for real? Is it really okay having someone like that working for you? Yeah, tell me about it. And to top it off, she made up some excuse and left early today after telling me all of this. Wow, she's really insane. I think I should try explaining things to her again, don't you think? I should make it crystal clear how I'm not dating the president. I'm dating the president's younger brother. I don't think you need to explain that again. It's not your responsibility. I don't think it's a good idea to get involved with that person at all anymore, to be honest. Just try and interact with her as little as you can. Only talk to her about work. Do you really think that's what I should do? Yeah, I do. You already tried clearing things up with her, right? But if she's not listening to anything you say, then it's pointless to keep trying to explain things to her. I think it'll only make things worse if you keep humoring her delusions. Yeah, I guess you could have a point there. You can't predict what some people might do or how they might act. I think it'd be best if you just keep as much distance as you can. In case she starts misinterpreting things you say and getting you in trouble with other higher-ups. Even if you explain everything really thoroughly, it doesn't benefit you. You're just giving her more words to twist. So you don't need to worry about anything in my opinion, just ignore her. Do you really think that's okay? I'm worried that if I ignore her, she'll try and bother you next. Uh, don't worry about that. I have no intention of cheating on you or anything, if that's what you're worried about. If she messages me, I'll just take my own advice and ignore her too. I appreciate you not wanting to get me involved, but honestly, it's fine. Thanks, Yale. I'm glad I have you by my side. A stitch in time saves nine. But you can be pretty corny, can't you? <laughs> uh, it's not corny. It's true. The best way to stop this becoming a big deal is to just nip it in the bud and ignore the troublemaker from the beginning. So just keep contact to a minimum and it'll all be fine. Yes, I'll do that. I'm sure she'll realize her misunderstanding on her own eventually. Abigail, you won't believe this. I finally won! I did exactly what I promised you. <laughs> I've done it! Woo! What have you done? Are you finally done with the report that was due last week? It's pretty late, but thanks for actually getting it done on your own. I'm not talking about some dumb report. <laughs> pregnant and you'll never guess who the father is congratulations melanie but if you want to talk about maternity leave you should contact hr not me come on guess who the father is it's really none of my concern please stop messaging me about personal matters if you're gonna be so boring i'll just tell you it's our president what i really doubt that so do me a favor and please break up with him soon, okay? Because he's decided to marry me. Melanie, I'm only going to ask you this once. Are you serious about being pregnant? You're not lying, are you? Of course I'm serious. I wouldn't lie about this. I don't want to accuse you of this if I'm mistaken, but this isn't some kind of joke, is it? You're not seriously suggesting that you're having a baby with our company president, are you? I didn't get pregnant as a joke. That's ridiculous. I'm really pregnant. If you don't believe me, I can send you a picture of my pregnancy test. Really? You're actually pregnant? Yes. I understand that it's hard to believe me all of a sudden. But unfortunately for you, my pregnancy is real. So I'll be the one marrying our CEO, not you. We're going to live such a blessed life. I heard he was thinking of moving to Beverly Hills. This joke has gone too far. It's really not acceptable. Please just tell me the truth. Up until now, I let all the personal conversations you've had with me slide, despite constant warnings about how inappropriate they are. But at this point, I will report it to the company. I can't work with someone who doesn't understand what I'm trying to tell you right now. Do you really think you can talk to me like that? I'm about to become the wife of our CEO soon, you know? Don't try and send me vague threats like that. <laughs> or you'd be the one who should be worried for her job. I'll show my future husband these messages. Don't come crying to me if you get fired, okay? You should really be careful how you speak to me, Melanie. 
Please stop acting like you're the one dating the CEO. That's basically over already. I'm pregnant with this child, you know. Even if you two had a thing before, that's in the past. He's obviously gonna choose the mother of his child. Which means I'll be the president's wife soon, whether you like it or not. Our president is a woman, though. Excuse me? And she's already married. Let me just confirm again. Melanie, did you really get pregnant? Are you really trying to tell me that the president's child is somehow in your stomach? What are you talking about? The president's a woman. You were just accusing me of making inappropriate jokes. Don't start making some yourself. The president's a man, obviously. Our company's huge and like super old. There's no way we have a woman CEO. I don't know what you think normal is, but there are plenty of women running companies in this world. And our company is one of them. You really ought to know at least that much about the company you work for. But that can't be true. You went out to eat with the president, right? You're dating the president, aren't you? This means you're dating a married woman? I'm dating the president's younger brother. You are? And don't twist that too now. He's not an executive or anything. Her brother just works in accounting. Please don't make any more weird assumptions or spread any more weird rumors about me. So, you're just dating some guy who happens to be her brother? That's what I've been trying to tell you. The rumors you heard about me eating out with the president were basically true. I just had dinner with my partner and his sister. We get along pretty well. That's all there is to that. Oh, I see. I thought it was just you and the president having dinner together. It sounded like a date. Yeah, I can see why you would think that if you heard having dinner with the president. But if you knew that the president of our company was a woman, I'm sure you wouldn't have reached that outlandish conclusion. You really can't blame me for misunderstanding. It isn't outlandish. Men are usually CEOs. Anyone would have assumed the same thing. No one would realize that their company's president is a woman. Now you're just being sexist. You might be obsessed with finding a rich husband, but a lot of women work really hard to reach their positions. I would say you're in the minority here. Women are just as capable as men, and there's nothing at all strange about one being the CEO. And if you're an employee of a company, you should know at least that much about the CEO. I'm pretty sure everyone else working here knows. There's no way I'm the only one who didn't know. But enough with that. Let me ask you again. Are you really pregnant? Or was it just a lie you made up to try to get me to split up with him? No, the pregnancy's all true. I really have a positive test. That wasn't a bluff. Oh, really? Don't tell me something actually happened between you and my boyfriend. No, no, that's not it. Whose child is it then? At this point, you might as well tell me everything. Oh, I completely forgot. I have to go. I'm going to take the rest of the day off. My grandparents are actually really ill, and I need to take some of my paid leave. What? Your grandparents are ill. Is that grandparents plural? How many of them are ill exactly? I'm sorry. I have to go now. Yale, sorry to bother you with this again, but just to make sure, you haven't heard from my weird subordinate, have you? Uh, what? Of course I didn't do anything like that. What kind of message is that? That's a relief. <laughs> do you remember the girl I was telling you about? The one who thought you were dating the CEO. Yeah, her. I talked to her the other day and she said something unbelievable. She said she's gotten pregnant with their CEO's child. What? With my sister's kid. Well, obviously not. That's not physically possible. But she is actually pregnant. Were you seriously suspecting that it's my child? No, of course not. I obviously believe you, Yale. I'm just confused. Before I could ask her anything, she ran away. I would never get another woman pregnant, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. Sorry. She really is pretty scary. 
Don't you think she's just lying about being pregnant? That's probably why she ran away. I hope that's the case. Sorry for contacting you so suddenly about this. I'll just see what she has to say when she gets back in touch. Abigail! You'll pay for the child support, right? Or at the very least, the company can sort something out, right? You have to take some responsibility for this! What are you talking about now? I've decided to give birth to the child. I can't bear the thought of aborting it. But I can't raise a child on my own either. That's why I need you to pay for child support. I've thought about this a lot, and you're basically as responsible as the father. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. It's actually true. You're really pregnant. Yes! For the last time it is! It's the child of a guy I met on a random dating app. You had a kid with some random guy you just met. And you've somehow convinced yourself this is my fault? Yeah! My plan was to get you to fight with your CEO boyfriend and then make a move on him. And after that, I could just pin the baby on him. But your boyfriend isn't even the CEO. Thanks to you, my plan's ruined. Are you insane? Whatever way you look at that story, you're the one who's in the wrong. You should be contacting the father of the child, not me. Don't you think I tried that? But I can't get in touch with him. He blocked me after I told him I was pregnant. I don't even know where he lives or anything. I don't mean to be rude, but I still don't see how this has anything to do with me. I really can't follow your logic. Don't be stingy. You don't need to think about it so hard. You can get money from the CEO, can't you? What are you talking about now? I can really never guess what you're going to say next. Your boyfriend might just be an accountant here. But if you get married, you'll become the president's sister-in-law, right? You'll be family with their CEO, won't you? Well, that's true, but what does that have to do with anything? You said you get along well with her, right? So can't you call in a favor and ask her for some money to help me raise the kid? I'm begging you. We've always gotten along, right? You're like a big sister to me. I really can't believe you're asking me this. After admitting to me that you were planning on stealing my boyfriend and lying about carrying his child. Exactly! It's your fault I couldn't do any of that, so you owe me! What kind of logic is that? That's why I had to rush and get knocked up by some random dude! So you need to take responsibility for the misunderstanding and send me $20,000 a month for child support. That's ridiculous. You've been gone without permission for a whole week, and you have the nerve to say that? Shouldn't you be more worried about even keeping your job at all? I won't show up at work until you pay me. You should be the one worried about losing me. It'll be your problem if work piles up, won't it? <laughs> if you agree to help me out with money, I'll be back to work right away. Otherwise, expect your workload to double. You don't have to come back at all. Don't worry about your work. You'll be getting your termination notice soon. I'll be getting my what? The absolute nerve of you. I can't believe you're actually trying to threaten me with leaving. I wonder sometimes, what's actually going on in your head? What do you mean by termination notice? What's that? Do you mean I'm getting fired? That's exactly what I mean. I'm glad you're catching on. Your attitude at work has been a problem for a while. I reported all of your actions to the higher-ups. And as a result, you're being terminated. This can't be true. What's the problem with my work attitude? Everything. All you do is use dating apps during work and leave all the work to me and your team members. You took a whole week off without even applying to use any paid leave. Not that you even have any left to use anyway. No one's going to miss you here. How could you do this? kid, you know? I'm gonna be a freaking mom. Do you and the higher up management have no hearts? Our hearts aren't the problem. This is all on you. Your behavior and thoughts are not normal. You should really go to see a therapist or something. What the heck are you talking about? Well, whatever you do, it's none of my concern. There's no need for you to come to work anymore. We'll send your stuff to your house later. We'll even cover the delivery costs. Wait, please! I really can't afford to lose my job! 
Well then, I suggest you start looking for a new job. Maybe in the future, you should consider the consequences of your own actions. But what am I supposed to do about the child support? That's not my problem. You're gonna have to work it out for yourself. I suggest you take responsibility for your own actions for once in your life. This isn't fair. You're right, it isn't fair. We shouldn't have had to put up with you for so long. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. I can't believe this is happening to me. I really don't deserve this. Believe it or not, it's happening. Goodbye, Melanie. Come on, please reconsider. I work super hard. Aren't you really busy right now anyway? Can you really afford to lose a team member? You're partially correct. We can't afford to keep working while practically missing a team member. It's worse for us if you stay. You're just wasting a desk. What do you mean wasting a desk? I mean you don't do any work. We'd much rather get a new member in our team than try and convince you to take your job seriously. But your kid isn't at fault, so please get it together. For their sake, at least. Anyways, thanks for the work up until now, even though it wasn't much. After that, Melanie officially received her notice of termination and disappeared without ever coming back to work again. I heard rumors that she somehow found the father of her unborn child, the one she met on the dating app. However, that man had a similar personality to Melanie and left, saying he had to suddenly move back to his home state to look after his sick parents. And after he left, I heard he practically disappeared. She couldn't get in touch with him again. In the end, I heard she went back to her parents' house and is finally working hard at a new job while leaving her child with them during the day. I hope she learned from all this and can become a better person for her child's sake. Thanks for watching until the end. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content.